Assalamualaikum. I am Shahzad Ahmed, and today I am taking ninth class with BS third in the course of Anglo-Saxon to Restoration period history. In previous lecture, we have discussed about different concepts, and these were different dramas before Shakespeare. Uh, the first one was mystery play, which was started in 11th and 12th century, and after that was miracle play, which was started in 13th century, and after that uh, there was a morality play, which was started in 14th century. So now we will move towards our uh, lectures. Uh, about the John Gower, as I have uh, explained about him, that he was from 14th century. He is a 14th century uh, poet. As we will explain uh, his concept or uh, the concept about John Gower in this uh, slide, that he was a medieval English poet. He was a medieval English poet of moral allegory. Allegory, I have explained it, whose reputation once matched that of his contemporary and friend, friend Geoffrey Chaucer. First of all, we have to keep one thing in our minds that Geoffrey Chaucer was the friend of John Gower. And here they are saying that he was an English poet of moral allegory. So in his writing, there was moral allegory. So he has uh, uh, depicted uh, in his poetry. Now, in first lecture, we were discussing about drama. Now here we are discussing about poetry. Keep it in your mind that John Gower was not a dramatist, but a poet. So in, uh, he was a moral. He wrote a moral allegory, and his reputation was once matched with Geoffrey Chaucer. It means that he was, uh, uh, in in one time of his life, he was considered as uh, like Geoffrey Chaucer, like he he was given that much important as like Geoffrey Chaucer. Uh, and who strongly influenced the writing of other poets of his days. So he was an influential poet as like Geoffrey Chaucer, but the main focus which we will uh, put on Geoffrey Chaucer is because of different reasons which we will discuss in our upcoming slides, that why people consider Geoffrey Chaucer as the most important figure of 14th century, why people uh, always uh, like uh, do not highlight John Gower as an important poet. So we will discuss these things in upcoming slides. So it is thought from Gower's language that he was of Kent. So uh, Kent was a place uh, you can see it in your maps. It is like uh, in the uh, southern part of uh, southern eastern part of England. So Kent was a place, and the people or the language which was spoken there was Kentish. So uh, people predict from his <coughs> from his uh, language, which was used in his poetry, that he was from uh, Kent. And he was clearly a man of some wealth, and he was not a poor person. He was a good, uh, he was a wealthy man. Illusions in his poetry. Illusion is another figure of speech. Uh, we have already discussed about figure of speech that some poet use these uh, figure of speeches in poetry or in prose to uh, make their poetry good or to make their poetry attractive. So illusion is a device in which you give different examples uh, from past history or from uh, mythology. If for example, for Imandari, who is the most famous for Adal and Insaf, is Hazrat Omar famous? And I say that you will say that you will say that you will say that you will say अगर गलती है तो मतलब आप आप तो बिल्कुल हजरत उमर जैसे हो तो हजरत उमर का वर्ड जो मैंने यहां पे यूज किया ये मैंने एज एन इल्यूजन यूज किया क्योंकि ये हमारे रिलीजियस पर्सपेक्टिव से भी और हिस्टोरिकल पर्सपेक्टिव से जो है मैंने यूज किया सिर्फ और सिर्फ ये बताने के लिए कि मतलब आप की ईमानदारी कौन से लेवल पे है सो so, इल्यूजन जो है ऐसे किस्म के वो फिगर ऑफ स्पीच है इल्यूजंस इज in his, in his poetry and other document, however, indicate that he knew London well and was probably a court official. In his writings, he also knows that he has allusions, diye, different examples of people, that he knows London in a very good way. That means, if you spend time in a place, then you can also give an allusion or example. So, they tell his allusions that he has spent a lot of time in London. That means, he has spent a lot of time in London. At one point, he professed acquaintance with Richard the two. एक जगह पे लगता है उनकी writing से कि उनकी acquaintance mean वो पहचान या उनकी जान पहचान जो है वो थी किसके साथ Richard the second के साथ जो कि King था England का जो हम previous lectures में पढ़ चुके हैं. And in 1399 he was granted two pipes casks of wine a year for life by Henry V as a reward for complimentary references references in one of his poems. कहना है कि 1399 में इन्होंने एक पोम लिखी थी जो हम आगे से कर करेंगे वो हेनरी फोर्थ के बारे में थी जो कि हम प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स में हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लैंड में जो है वो आ, हम डिस्कस कर चुके हैं उनके बारे में इन्होंने लिखी थी जिसकी वजह से उनको इतना इनाम मिला कि उनको हर ईयर जो है कास्क या टोकरियाँ या पाइप जो है वो मिलते थे शराब के मुफ्त में और जो है इन 1400 गोवर डिस्क्राइब हिमसेल्फ एस सेनेक्स एट सिसस ये जो है वो लैटिन या फ्रेंच का कोई फ्रेज है ओल्ड एंड ब्लाइंड इन्होंने खुद को कहा है अभी हम आगे मूव करते हैं कि इनकी पोइट्री जो है वो कैसी थी या कौन-कौन सी राइटिंग इन्होंने की है 
یہاں سے یہاں یہ شروع کرنے سے پہلے میں کچھ بتاتا چلوں کہ اس ٹائم کے رائٹرز جو تھے چاہے وہ چوسر تھا یا گوور تھا وہ سارے جو تھے وہ انفلوئنس تھے کس کس سے یا تو وہ فرینچ سے انفلوئنس تھے یا تو اٹلی سے انفلوئنس تھے ان کی رائٹنگ مینس ان کمپیریزن آف انگلینڈ اٹلی اینڈ فرینچ واز ور مور انفلوئنشیل مور ٹوورڈس لٹریچر اور ٹوورڈس رائٹنگ ٹوورڈس پینٹنگ وہ زیادہ جو ہے وہ مشہور تھے ان چیزوں میں ہی روٹ ان فرینچ لیٹن اینڈ انگلش ہز مین ورک کانفیشیو ایمینٹس جو انہوں نے 1386 میں لکھی ہے وہ کس کے بارے میں تھی کانٹینڈ 141 ایگزامپلس اینڈ سٹوریز آف لو ان اے کنورسیشن بٹوین اے لور ایمانس اینڈ اے پریسٹ آف وینس وینس جگہ کا نام ہے جینیس ان کے بارے میں تھی ہی ڈریو آن دا کلاسکس اینڈ آن دا میڈیول رومینسز بائی دا ٹائم دا لور ہیڈ انڈرسٹوڈ دا نیچر آف لو ہی واز ٹو اولڈ اینڈ ٹائرڈ آف ٹو کیئر یہ جو ہے کنفیسیو ایمینٹس کا جو ہے تھوڑا سا تیم انہوں نے بیان کیا ہے جو کہ آپ لوگ خود بھی اس کی سمری تھوڑی سی پڑھ لیں تو آپ لوگوں کو سمجھ آ جائے گی آف گوورس پولیٹیکل ورک انہوں نے ایک یہ تو لو کے بارے میں ہو گیا نا انہوں نے ایک ورک لکھا ہے جو پالیٹکس سے ریلیٹڈ ہے واکس کلیمنٹس جو کہ انہوں نے تھرٹین ایٹی ٹو میں لکھا ہے ریکارڈیڈ دا اپیول آف دی پیزنٹس ریوالٹ پیزنٹ ریوالٹ ہم انگلینڈ کی ہسٹری میں پڑھ چکے ہیں اینڈ ہز ہوپ دیٹ ریچرڈ ٹو رین ووڈ پروو اے بلیسنگ صحیح ہے یہ جو ہے انہوں نے لکھی ہے کس کے بارے میں کہ انہوں نے ریچرڈ ٹو کو جو ہے وہ یہ بات بتانے کے لیے مطلب ریچرڈ ٹو کے بارے میں لکھی ہے کہ ان کا رین جو ہے وہ ٹھیک ہو جائے گا سو دیز ور ڈفرینٹ تھنگز اباؤٹ جان گوور